The evolution of mosasaurs is a remarkable journey from small land-dwelling lizards to the giant sea predators that dominated the oceans of the Cretaceous period. To understand how mosasaurs evolved, we need to look at their ancestors, starting with the earliest reptiles. Keganaeus It was a small aquatic lizard with a snake-like body and short limbs. It is likely that it was this animal that gave rise to all the ancestors of the Mosasaurus. Little is known about this lizard, so we immediately move on to the next ancestors of our main character. Euparcheria lizards or Euparcheurpetan. Euparcheria, which lived about 245 million years ago, is one of the oldest archosaurs from which many groups of reptiles, including Mosasaurs, evolved. These small reptiles were flexible and active hunters who could move on land and in water, which gave them a huge advantage in the changing conditions of the Triassic period. Although they were not yet specialized marine animals, their anatomy became the basis for the subsequent evolution of more specialized forms. Monitor lizards in Agama or Igelosauridae. Approximately 100 to 95 million years ago, the first true ancestors of mosasaurs appeared monitor lizard-like reptiles from the family Igelosauridae. These reptiles were significantly smaller than their mosasaurian descendants, reaching lengths of about 5 feet. They led a semi-aquatic lifestyle, hunting fish and small aquatic animals in coastal areas. Igelosauridae had elongated bodies and jaws, but still retained well-developed limbs, which allowed them to move on land. Their skin was scaly, like modern monitor lizards, and they had strong, curved teeth for capturing and holding prey. Transitional Forms Dalahide or Dalasaurus About 98 million years ago, Dalasaurus entered the evolutionary scene as one of the transitional forms between Igelosauridae and the more specialized Mosasaurus. This lizard was about 3 feet long and had more developed flipper-like limbs, which indicates its greater affinity for the aquatic environment. Dalasaurus was relatively small, but its anatomy shows important steps in the evolution of Mosasaurus, the flippers became more suitable for swimming, and the tail began to turn into a powerful tool for movement in the water. These features make it an important link between terrestrial ancestors and later Mosasaurs. Early Mosasaurs Clydasts ilp Clydasts Clydasts, which appeared about 95 million years ago, were among the first true Mosasaurs. They reached lengths of up to 13 feet and already had the characteristic features that made them effective marine predators, a long, flexible body, a powerful, bladed tail that helped them move quickly through the water, and flipper-like limbs. Clydasts were active hunters, feeding on fish, ammonites, and other marine animals. Their jaws could move apart, allowing them to swallow large prey whole. This was an important adaptation that allowed Mosasaurs to become the dominant predators in their ecosystems. Platycarpus We spent all our time in the water, meeting even when we were aground. The swimming method was reminiscent of modern sharks. They ate various fish and cephalopods. It is possible that they acted like modern seals, prowling the approaches to the shore and chasing down frightened prey. Tylosaurs Tylosaurs, reaching lengths of up to 50 feet, were among the largest mosasaurs and lived about 85 to 80 million years ago. They represented the pinnacle of the evolutionary development of mosasaurs, possessing all the necessary adaptations for life in the open ocean. Their elongated bodies and powerful tails allowed them to develop great speed in the water, 
and their teeth and jaws were ideal for capturing and holding large prey. Tylosaurs likely hunted everything they came across, including large fish, plesiosaurs, and even other mosasaurs. They were true sea giants, dominating their ecosystems. Mosasaurus, which appeared about 70 million years ago, became one of the last and largest representatives of the group. With a body length of up to 60 feet, it was one of the largest marine predators of all time. The Mosasaurus had powerful jaws capable of crushing even the toughest prey, and its tail was equipped with blades, making it an extremely fast swimmer. Mosasaurs lived in different seas around the world, from Europe to North America, and were likely at the top of the food chain in their ecosystems. Their ability to adapt to different environments allowed them to become one of the most successful marine predators of the Cretaceous period. Mosasaurs mastered various ecological niches. Some hunted large prey in the open ocean, while others preferred shallow water areas where they fed on fish and invertebrates. Some mosasaurs even specialized in hunting other marine reptiles, including plesiosaurs. Mosasaurs had unique anatomical features that set them apart from other marine reptiles. Their jaws could be expanded thanks to a flexible joint, which allowed them to swallow large prey whole. They also had secondary teeth on the roof of their mouth that helped hold onto prey until it was completely swallowed. Their fins, although evolved from limbs, still contained residual finger bones, indicating their terrestrial origins. These fins, along with a long tail equipped with fin blades, made Mosasaurs one of the fastest and most maneuverable swimmers of their time. Unique adaptations and behaviors sharp like teeth, Mosasaurus teeth were designed in such a way that they were constantly replaced with new ones throughout life. This gave Mosasaurus a constant advantage in hunting, as they never lost their combat readiness. As soon as a tooth fell out or broke, a new one quickly grew in its place. Flexible jaws Mosasaurs had a unique jaw structure that allowed them to move their jaws apart. This was similar to how a modern snake can stretch its jaws to swallow large prey whole. This adaptation allowed Mosasaurs to cope with large marine animals such as fish, plesiosaurs, and even other Mosasaurs. Acoustic communication, some scientists suggest that mosasaurs may have used sound to communicate, much like modern whales and dolphins. Their skull structure may have allowed them to produce low-frequency sounds that traveled long distances underwater, helping them find mates or hunt in murky waters. Swimming at high speed, despite their large size, mosasaurs were excellent swimmers. Their body was adapted for fast and maneuverable movement in water, which allowed them to hunt effectively and avoid danger. Their flexible tail and flipper-like limbs made them one of the fastest predators of their time. Interaction with other species competition with plesiosaurs, mosasaurs shared their water spaces with other large marine reptiles such as plesiosaurs and pliosaurs. Although these species often hunted different prey, in some cases they could compete for food resources, especially when prey became scarcer. Cannibalism among Mosasaurs There is evidence that Mosasaurs may have practiced cannibalism. The fossils show bite marks on the bones that match the teeth of other Mosasaurs. 
This could occur in the event of a fight for territory, food, or while hunting for wounded or young individuals. Hunting for flying reptiles, mosasaurs weren't limited to underwater prey. They could also hunt pterosaurs, flying reptiles that probably sometimes descended to the water to drink or catch fish. Mosasaurs could suddenly surface and snatch pterosaurs out of the air. Physical features and species diversity variety of sizes and shapes. Mosasaurs ranged in size from relatively small species about 10 feet long to giant ones such as Mosasaurus, which reached lengths of up to 60 feet. This diversity allowed Mosasaurus to occupy different ecological niches in marine ecosystems. Variety of Teeth Different species of Mosasaurus had different tooth shapes adapted for different prey. Some species had sharp teeth for capturing fish, while others had more massive teeth for crushing hard prey such as ammonites and mollusks. Tail Evolution The tail of Mosasaurus gradually evolved to become more suitable for swimming. Early Mosasaurus had relatively straight tails, but later species such as Tylosaurus developed a distinctive vertical bladed fin shape, making them even more efficient swimmers. Geographical distribution and archaeological finds wide habitat. Mosasaurs have been found on every continent, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Antarctica. This indicates that they were an extremely successful group of marine predators, adapted to a variety of climates. Fossils of Mosasaurs in Antarctica One of the most exciting discoveries was the remains of a Mosasaurus discovered in Antarctica. These fossils show that Mosasaurs lived even in polar waters, confirming their wide geographic distribution. Rare skin fossils, rare skin impressions of mosasaurs have been found in some places, showing that they had scaly skin reminiscent of that of modern monitor lizards and snakes. This confirms that mosasaurs, despite their aquatic adaptations, retained the features of their land ancestors. Mosasaurs reached their peak at the end of the Cretaceous period, several million years before the mass extinction caused by a meteorite impact about 66 million years ago. This extinction event, known as the KPG, Cenozoic Cretaceous Boundary Crisis, event, wiped out not only the dinosaurs, but also most large marine reptiles, including mosasaurs. This catastrophic event caused significant changes in climate and ecosystems, leading to the extinction of many species, including mosasaurs. Mosasaurs, like many other large marine animals, were unable to adapt to sudden changes in living conditions and became extinct. Legacy of the Mosasaurs Mosasaurs left a significant legacy in the history of the Earth. Their fossils have been found all over the world, from Europe to North and South America, as well as Africa and New Zealand. They occupied the top of the food chain in their ecosystems, and their disappearance left an empty niche that was later filled by other marine predators such as sharks and whales. The evolution of mosasaurs demonstrates how reptiles can adapt to completely new living conditions and become dominant predators in new environments. These amazing sea lizards remain one of the most fascinating chapters in the history of life on Earth, reminding us of just how diverse and dynamic the Mesozoic world was. Have you watched the video? Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. Don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.